Hey guys, what's up? Today we're looking at calculating the derivative of a vector function. And calculating the derivative of a vector function really just boils down to calculating single derivatives. So it's just like a single variable calculus problem three times over. So you just have three components, you calculate the derivative of each component. So first thing we're going to do is calculate the derivative of this first function. It's just going to use the quotient rule. So we're just going to use the quotient rule, which means derivative of the top, which is going to be 2t times the bottom, which is 1 minus t squared, minus the top, which is 1 plus t squared, times derivative of the bottom, which would be negative 2t, all over the bottom, which is 1 minus t squared, squared. So that's just the quotient rule. So hopefully, quotient rule is still fresh. Um, again, this is just the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times derivative of the bottom over the bottom squared. And now we can actually do some algebra here, reduce this. Um, this will give us like a 2t minus 2t cubed. And let's see, minus minus would be plus, so plus 2t plus 2t cubed over 1 minus t squared squared. And this really just turns out to be, well, let's see, we've got some cancellations that can happen here. This will cancel, the 2t cubes cancel. So this is really just going to be 4t over 1 minus t squared squared. And we won't square out that bottom. That doesn't really get us anything new um, by squaring out the bottom. So just leave it like that. That's the derivative of the first component. So that's going to be the first component of our derivative. And let's see, arctan, d by dt of arctan. Well, that's when we just really have to memorize. So is 1 over 1 plus t squared. So if you're in calculus 3, you've been through calculus 1 and 2 presumably. And you've seen arctan quite a few times. So actually, how do you derive the derivative of arctan? Well, you have to use implicit differentiation starting out with tangent. Um, but after that, it's not too bad. So that's the derivative of arctan. And then lastly, the derivative of um, the 1 minus e to negative 2t over t, that's going to be a quotient rule again. So d by dt of 1 minus e to negative 2t over t that's another quotient rule. So that's going to be a derivative of the top, which is going to be negative negative 2, which is positive 2, e to the negative 2t times the bottom, which is t, minus derivative of the bottom now is 1 times the top, which is 1 minus e to the negative 2t, all over bottom squared, which is t squared. And we'll just simplify that when we write the final answer. But now r prime, we can say r prime of t is equal to the vector function 4t over parentheses 1 minus t squared, quantity squared, comma, 1 over 1 plus t squared, and then to simplify this last term, there's not much to it, but we, we could say 2t e to the negative 2t minus 1 plus e to the negative 2t all over t squared. And that is our derivative. So we're done. And that's how we calculate the derivative of a vector function. We just do it component by component.